Welcome. We'll begin in a standing position. So any standing position will do. Have your feet about hips distance apart and bring your awareness to the bottoms of the feet. And focus on relaxing all your muscles in your standing position and holding as little tension as you possibly can. And start to sway a little bit from side to side. So we're leaning to the side of the foot a couple of times, leaning to the right, <clears throat> leaning to the left and paying attention to how the foot responds as you shift your weight and similarly leaning forward leaning towards the front of the foot leaning towards the back of the foot and go really slow and tune into any subtle differences you notice here And then circling, so pushing your hips out in all directions, over the feet. Same thing here, simply noticing how the foot responds. Notice how the rest of the body responds, reverse directions. <clears throat> Moving in this way, we keep a little sway in the body. Start to circle your shoulders, so one shoulder at a time. And we're gonna move in a cross lateral pattern. So as one shoulder comes forward, the other shoulder moves back. As one shoulder moves up, the other shoulder moves down. Try to keep your body as loose as you possibly can. And then rotating, just let your arms be relaxed, heavy. Let the spine be relaxed. Then we're gonna make this into more of a dynamic rotation. And the best way to describe this is, is as I rotate in one direction, I immediately whip the arm back in the opposite direction. So you can start with one, Sort of a funny looking thing, but it feels great once you get it. And then you move on to two. And I sort of describe this in classes, a controlled temper tantrum, spaz out, something like that. And then relax, shake it out. Okay, one more we're gonna do. Bend your knees, same thing. We're, we're trying with these mobility, uh, these mobilizations to use momentum. So you're gonna let your knees bounce we're gonna to start to swing the arms and try to coordinate this with the bouncing of the knees. So you're using as little effort as possible in your arms. And then we'll go back and same thing here. Just be loose, as loose as you can. And then shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And next one we're gonna do, again, a, uh, movement, uh, it's a Qigong inspired movement. Qigong, in Qigong we call this moving the clouds. And so you're gonna keep your legs stable and keep your upper spine, your scapula, your arms as relaxed as possible. So you're gonna do eight of these, bringing the arms back and forward. And you can synchronize these with your breath. So on the inhale, the arms are all the way back. The exhale, arms all the way forward. Three more times here. Last one. Turning to the center of the mat. Turn to face forward, feet are facing forward in a wide position. Bend into your right leg, stay nice and tall. And then staying low, we're gonna move slowly to the left side and then straighten the left leg. So bending right slowly, 
Move to the left side. Stand up, bending right slowly. Move to the left side. Stand up, bending right slowly. Move to the left side. Stand up and then bending left slowly. Move to the right side. Stand up, bending left slowly. Move to the right side. Stand up, bending left slowly. Move to the right, stand up. And then you'll turn to the opposite direction. Again here, a nice tall stance, short lunge here. Find your base and then we'll make this as soft as possible. Integrating movement with breath. Nice and light. And for those of you that have taken this class before, you know that the, the pain is coming. The, the work and the hard sweat is coming. And so focus these beginning exercises on being as loose as possible. This is sort of the other side of training, where often we're training to generate force or generate tension. It's important to train as well to release that tension. So now bending into your left leg, we'll move to the right, standing up. Bending into the left, moving to the right, standing up, bending left, moving to the right, standing up, bending left, move to the right, standing up, bending right, move to the left, stand up, bending right, move to the left, stand up, bending right, move to the left, stand up, bending right, move to the left, and stand up. And then we'll turn to the front of the mat. In the front of the mat, you're gonna squat down. Any old way is fine. From your squatting position, bring the hands behind the shoulders. It's completely unique to you how you want to place your hands. Make sure that they're relatively comfortable and that it's not too much strain on the wrists or the shoulders. And then move your shoulders up, back, and down. You'll lock your shoulders down. So if this doesn't work for you, you can do stationary table or reverse table tucks up and down. But the more advanced version here, we're gonna keep the hips high and walk. Couple of steps back to the back of the mat, couple of steps forward. As I walk, I'm trying to keep my hips as high as I can. Walk forward and walk back. Walk forward. And walk back. One more time. Walking forward. And then bring your hips down. A couple of times nice and gentle. Drop onto the edges of the feet. Keep your hands on the floor. Good. And then bringing your hands forward. Just to warm up the wrists a bit more here. Turn your hands out, and we'll start to figure of eight around the fingertips. And then reverse directions. And then sitting back on your heels, bring your hands up over the shoulders, make fists, and then straighten your fingers. Spread the fingers out as much as you can and then start to make it a little faster and a little faster keep spreading them wide a little faster 10 more seconds a little faster smile more a little faster smile more a little faster and relax okay so first exercise in this sequence is a spinal roll from downward facing dog to upward facing dog so if you're new to this the biggest um, key to this is to immediately start to push your bum down and lift your front muscles up. So about midway through this, I'm in a plank position with my spine round. And then I'll keep pushing the bum down slowly until I end up in a back bend. Once you finish the back bend, we're gonna roll right back up, lifting from underneath 
pushing back, downward facing dog. So we do this five times. Bum down, lift from underneath. Try to keep your arms straight, bringing the hips down. I end up in the back bend and then slowly rolling, lifting, pushing back, downward facing dog. Three more times, bum down. Lifting from underneath. Hips will travel down, coming into your back bend, and then slowly lifting, pushing back. Two more times, bum down immediately. Lift up from underneath, slowly rolling into your back bend, and then lifting, pushing back. Downward facing dog. One more time. Bum down, lifting from underneath. Slowly coming into your upward facing. Slowly coming down to your downward facing. From your downward facing, walk the hands back towards the feet. Stand up for just a moment and shake it out. Okay. So our next exercise, this is a deep knee bend squat. We do this squat on the toes. The primary focus in this exercise is to keep the pelvis tilted in posterior pelvic tilt and to avoid bringing the hips back and the chest down. So we're gonna try to keep a very vertical position. So posterior pelvic tilt, I cue that as the, the waistband area of your pants, pulling it up towards your navel, glutes push towards the front, push forward, and then your spine stays tall. You start to bend the knees down. So you may not go all the way down to your calves, which is totally fine. Reset each time so you'll come onto your heels again. Posterior pelvic tilt, hips forward, spine tall, just go down as far as you're comfortable. If you're new to this, just learn the motion first and come all the way up to straighten the knees, reset, heels come back to the ground, posterior pelvic tilt, come onto the toes, knees forward, hips forward, looking forward, smiling as you do this, straighten up, and we'll do five to eight of these. Go slow. Stay in control. And again, try to avoid those compensation movements. Straighten your knees each time. This is a great exercise for the knees for developing strength in these end range knee positions. One more time. Posterior pelvic tilt, nice and tall. Coming all the way back up, straighten the knees, and back. So we're gonna come down to the ground now. So coming onto the ground, this can be just a really gentle reset here. Bring your hands wide, wider than your elbows. Elbows in, shoulders back, nice and gentle. Coming up in a cobra position, and then coming down. So we'll do five more of these coming up. Make this nice and relaxed. Coming down. And again, coming up. And coming down. And coming up. And coming down. Two more times coming up. And coming down. Last one coming up and coming down. Take a breath here and relax. And then moving to your right side, we're setting up for a side plank on the forearm. And we're gonna do this side plank in a particular way with the focus on moving the entire spine segmentally. So I'm going to be moving from my neck, from the uh, extreme position here, all the way to the extreme position here, 
and my hips in the same way from the opposite direction. So I'm gonna start with my left ear to the shoulder, and then as I come up, the head comes down, the hips come up slowly, and then as I come down, the head comes back, the hips come down to the floor. So we're gonna do a three count up, two, three, pause for a moment, and then down, two, three. Up, two, three, pause for a moment, down, two, three. So options, if that's really tough for you, take your leg out like this, and then back down. Second variation would be to have the feet staggering, two, three, down, two, three. Two more, up, two, three, down, two, three. Up, two, three, down, two, three. Up and hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. And then we do the other side. So left side this time, same thing. Choose the variation that's right for you. So you wanna focus on range of motion control. Take your time learning the movement first and then start to progress to the more challenging variations. So starting with the ear to the shoulder, we're coming up, two, three. Pause, down, two, three. Up, two, three. Pause down two three up two three pause down two three up two three pause down two three two more up two three pause down two three up two three pause down two three last one up and hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Whew. Okay, so coming back up to a standing position. This is goddess stance or horse stance in martial arts. Gonna turn your feet out, knees out, and push down into the floor. So the main focus here is in creating stability, strength in the legs so that the spine can be dynamic, similar to what we were doing with our lunge. And you'll have your hands facing each other, like you're holding onto maybe a medicine ball or something. If you have a medicine ball at home, you're welcome to it. We're going to twist in one direction twice. So it's a little half, full, half, full, half, full, half, full, half, full. And start to find a little rhythm. We'll do this for about 20 more seconds. And if you find stability, you can create more torque in this movement. So similar to boxing martial arts and relax. Whew. Take about 10, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna come back to the downward facing dog, moving the whole spine five times really slow. You gotta draw the bum down. Lift from underneath. Let the hips travel down. You'll find yourself in a back bend. And then lift from underneath, back to the plank, pushing back, downward facing dog. Four more times. Hips come down, lift from underneath. Find yourself in the back bend. And then lifting up, pushing back, downward facing dog, slow and controlled. Try to move every piece of your spine. Two more times. Now 
last one. And then walk it in, walk it in, walk it in. And stand up. Coming into our next set of the deep knee bends. Same thing here. Posterior pelvic tilt, hips stay forward, spine tall and upright, come high on your toes. Go down slowly, keep your spine tall the whole time. Come all the way up, straighten your knees, reset. Posterior pelvic tilt, onto the toes. Knees come forward, and coming back up. Nice and strong. Reset, so five to eight of these. Do your best, keep your hips forward, keep your spine tall and upright. Again, posterior pelvic tilt. Coming down slowly, coming up slowly, straighten the knees, posterior pelvic tilt, coming down slow, coming up slowly, straighten the knees two more times. And this is something, if you do this class regularly, you can start to track your progress, see how low you go. And one way that we increase with body weight exercises is by just slowly increasing the range of motion that you're using. So the deeper the bend, the stronger you have to be in terms of your quads in that position. All right, that was fun. Coming on to your stomach. Take a breath here, get nice and relaxed, but not too relaxed. Bring your hands wider than the elbows, shoulders back, elbows in, nice and slow coming up, nice and slow coming down, nice and slow coming up, nice and slow coming down, nice and slow coming up. Nice and slow, coming down. Three more times, coming up. And coming down. Two more times, coming up. And coming down. One more time, coming up. And coming down. Take a breath here, rest for a moment. And then moving on to your right side. So setting up again here can be position one, position two, legs are staggered, position three, legs are stacked. Going from the top, ear to the shoulder, coming up, two, three, pause, down, two, three, up two, three, pause, down, two, three, up, 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 two, three, pause, down, two, three, up and hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down, and relax for a moment, we'll set up for the left side, so again, find the position that's right for you. Focus on range of motion, starting with the ear to the shoulder. Coming up, two, three. Pause, down, two, three. Up, two, three. Pause, down, two, three. Up, two, three. 
pause, down, two, three, up, two, three, 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 pause, down, two, three. Last one up and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down. Whew. Okay. Ah, coming up to a standing position. Whew. Turning the toes out, knees out. Again, creating a nice strong base here. Push down into the floor, feel your glute muscles active, spine tall and upright. Turn, turn, half, full, half, full, half, full, half, full, half, full, half, full. So find your rhythm. And then you can explore becoming more dynamic with these movements. Okay, okay, okay. Moving into our final set of down dog to upward facing dog. Focus on these little spinal movements. Just pushing the glutes down right away. Lifting from underneath. Try to keep your arms straight. Slowly coming into the back bend. Slowly lifting back to plank and then reaching the hips back. Again, hips come down, lift from underneath, pushing the ground away, and then coming back up. Find plank, reach back to downward facing dog. Three more times, roll through, and lift back. And again, roll through. And lift back. Last one here. Rolling through. And lifting back. And then walking your hands and feet towards each other. Come up to your standing position. Whew. Okay, so last round of our deep knee bend. Have your feet about hips distance apart. Posterior pelvic tilt, glutes, push forward, come onto your toes, nice and slow. Coming down, keeping the spine tall, coming all the way back up. Heels come onto the floor. Again, knees forward, posterior pelvic tilt, come down slowly. Come up slow. Straighten the knees, reset. Let's try about five more. Take your time. If you need to rest a little bit in between, rest in between. We want to focus on the mechanics of this movement and then adding more and more depth. So it can be a less range of motion at first just to keep yourself from compensating. So if you're going deeper but sticking your bum out, try to go for a little bit less range but a little bit better technique. Good, and take a rest. We'll come down to the stomach. On your stomach, hands a little bit wider than the elbows. Six times, nice and light coming up. Nice and light coming down. Nice and light coming up. Nice and light coming down. Nice and light coming up. Nice and light coming down. 
Nice and light coming up. Nice and light coming down. Nice and light coming up. Nice and light coming down. One more time coming up. And coming down. Take a moment here. Relax, release for a few moments. And then coming into our final set of side plank, the wonderful side plank. So again, set yourself up in whatever position is appropriate for you. Focus on range of motion and biomechanics. Coming up, two, three, pause, down, two, three. Coming up, two, three, pause, down, two, three. Coming up, two, three, pause, down, two, three. 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 Up and hold, 10, nine. Extra challenge, lift the foot, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Whew. Coming to the other side. Take a moment here, again, set yourself up, ear to the top shoulder, coming up, two, three, pause, down, two, three, 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 last one, up and hold, ten, nine, eight, again, if you want to lift the foot, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Okay. Oh. All right. Take a breath here. Relax. Stay loose. Going to turn your feet out now. Knees bent. Again, heels actively kicking the floor away. Glutes strong here, nice and tall. You're gonna turn, 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 turn. Half, full, half, full, half, full, half, full, half, full, half, full. And then find your rhythm. And again, you can begin to let it loose a little. 10 more seconds. Okay, so coming into our next round of exercises, it's very exciting. So you're gonna use a block for this one. If you don't have a block, you can use something like a block. Really the only reason for the block is to add a little bit of um, awareness of keeping the hips level and maintaining balance as you do this exercise. So level one is going to be to keep your knees on the ground. Level two is going to have your knees hover off of the ground. What we're doing in this exercise, just to give you a different angle, I'm going to shift the weight into one hand, tap, shift the weight into the other hand, tap, shift, and shift. 
So we're transferring weight. And again, the goal is to maintain the hips level with as little movement as possible. And so in other words, not changing the shape of this position. So we get started. One, two, three, four. So go to a position where you can do at least 20. Slow and controlled. Take your time. Let it burn, let it sizzle here. When you've had enough, you gotta rest. So again, if you don't have a block, you can do it without a block, that's totally fine. You can use something like a book or something that's level. Um, make it fun though. Whew. Try your best to keep your hips relatively level and to minimize the amount of movement you're doing outside of that shape. So it's forcing your body to stabilize the whole time which is where the juice is in that exercise. Phew. Okay, and it is juicy. So the next one is a movement that requires balance. It's for the ankles, knees, hips. And so we're going to be in what I call a high squat stance. So focus on keeping your knee as far forward as you can, keeping the heel on the ground We'll have the block in the right hand to begin with. The right foot is going to stay off of the ground. You're going to place the block down or whatever you grab, place it down, tap with the foot, pick the block up, stand back up. Bring your foot out behind your leg, bring the block out to your right, tap the foot to the block, pick the block up, Stand up. Again, place it forward. Tap the block. Pick it up. Out to the side. Tap the block. Pick it up. And we'll aim for doing at least three in each position. And you're gonna start to feel that standing leg, smoking. I'll go for one more. So going for four, Woo. and out to the side. Oh, yes, that is good. And then pick it up and switch sides. Oh, okay. So again, now the right leg is going to be the balance leg, trying to keep the knee forward. Left hand has the block, left foot's gonna stay off the ground, gonna plant. Tap, back, pick it up, out to the side, bring the leg behind, tap with the foot, pick it up, stand back up, forward position, place it down, tap with the foot, pick it up, out to the side, stand up, tap with the foot, pick it up, stand back up, forward position, Tap, pick it up, stand up, out to the side. Tap, pick it up, stand up, forward position. Tap, whew, starting to burn. Last one, out to the side. Tap, pick it up, ha, ah, standing up, okay. So, going to, again, do this reverse tabletop walk. So an option here is to just do this 
this stationary, you're going to come up and down. If you're doing the walk, we're going to come up, stay up, walk back, do about five in each direction, walk forward. Keep the hip side, walk back, and walk forward. Hope I'm staying in camera, walk back, and walk forward. Walking back, and walking forward. Keeping the hips up one more time. Walking back, and walking forward. And relax. Let's take 30 seconds here. Oh. So even though we're working hard, I think it's always important to, to have a little fun while you're doing it. So remember why you're doing it. Do it as a, a means to connect to your body, to challenge yourself in a really loving way, in a fun way. We see what we're capable of, see what we need to work on. That can also be fun to learn new things, to, to develop new skills over time. That can be a really fun thing to do, but we have to be willing to sort of see whatever it is and work on it. And I think it helps to stay in that positive mindset. So set number two like this. Again, try to minimize movement as much as possible. And you can either have the knees on or off. Gonna tap, 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 and so on. Try for at least 20. You can start to keep track of these. Beat this over time. slow keep it steady try a couple more if you can okay oh that's good all right take a few moments ah let it burn and then we'll come up doing our last round of the blocking. So again here, the left foot will be balancing. Gonna try to keep the left knee forward. The right hand will have the block. The right leg will be off the ground. Gonna place the block straight ahead and then tap it and pick it up. Bring the block out to the side tap and pick it up and straight forward tap out to the side tap and straight forward tap pick it up out to the side Tap. One more round here. We can do this. Straight forward. Tap. Pick it up. That leg is smoking. Out to the side. Tap. Pick it up. And relax. Whew. Other side. Right knee is bent here. Block is in the left hand. Left foot is off of the floor. Straight forward, tap, pick it up, stand up, out to the side, tap, pick it up, straight forward, tap, bring it back, out to the side, tap, pick it up, straight forward, tap. Out to the side. Tap. Straight. 
straight forward. Jump. Out to the side. Tap. I've lost my count. We'll do one more. Straight forward. Tap. Uh, uh, uh. Out to the side. Uh. Tap. Whew. Oh. My clients don't believe me that I get tired as well. I do. Oh, okay. All right. Last round here of the reverse tabletop. Again, a modification can be to just go up and down slowly and in control. I'm gonna bring the shoulders up, back and down. Bring the hips up, lock the hips, walk back, walk forward. Keep the hips up, walk back, and walk forward. Walk back, and walk forward. Walk back. And walk forward. One more time, walking back. And walking forward. And bring your hips down. Come on to your back. Drop your knees really passively in each direction a couple of times. Hmm. And then lifting your feet off of the ground, take some small circles with your knees. It's also nice if you have a block to do this with the block, squeezing in and reverse. And then placing the block down if you had it between the legs and Find a comfortable position to spend a few minutes and rest. So especially with this class, since it's more intense maybe than a standard yoga practice, it may take a little bit more time for your body to relax. I like to think of this process like watching a snow globe, one of those clear glass balls that you shake and the snow starts to swirl around. That's sort of what our nerves are doing right now. And if you wait long enough, the snow begins to settle down into the floor. here for a few more moments and with each breath see if you can soften just a little bit more become a little bit more allowing releasing slowly into the support of the ground Stay here for as long as you like. If you feel nice in this position, just enjoy it for a while. If you're ready, you can begin to start moving your fingers and your toes. Reach your arms up over the head. 
and stretch the legs forward and then bending your knees into the body bring your arms around the legs and then gently rolling to one side take a few moments here and rest on your side and when you're ready making your way up to a comfortable seated position and take a few final moments in your seated posture feeling the body nice and tall and i thank you all so much for your practice namaste